That's it. One, two, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. Three, three two, two, one. one. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Hi, my name is Monica Cho, and I'm here with Chris from Fragmental today. Welcome to my lovely guest. It's an absolute pleasure to be on your channel. Thanks for asking me. So nice to actually meet him in person. He is just as lovely in, uh, in person and he does do reviews um, on his channel and he does review designer and niche fragrances for men. So if you are into that, I'm sure you are because you're watching this channel, go on to his channel and just check out his videos. I'm sure you will enjoy them a lot. I'd appreciate that. Yeah. And today we're talking about the one, the only, Le Mal from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this is just this fragrance that everybody seems to ask me about. And I must say, I have just purchased it yesterday, especially for this video, because I have smelled it in the past, but I never really got the hype. So I really want to discuss, is it still relevant in 2020? Is it still worth the hype? And you, Chris, mm. you have mentioned just when we were chatting off the camera that you have actually worn a Le Mal in the past. What is your experience with this fragrance? What are your <clears throat> memories? When did you first maybe get this fragrance? Where did you, when did you get it? So it's going to be really difficult for me yeah. to um, answer the question about, is it still relevant? Mm -hmm. I will answer the question, by yeah. the way. But it's going to be quite difficult because I have so much attachment mm. to wearing this fragrance mm. uh, earlier yeah. in, in my yeah. life. So I'm going to have to try and separate the emotional attachment yeah. and the memories associated with it that I have with this scent mm -hmm. uh, to try and determine whether I think it is still relevant, mm. but, we, but we'll get there. Yeah. So <clears throat> this is probably the scent that I've worn for the longest in my life. Well, that um, is big. <laughs> yeah, this this was a signature scent for me mm -hmm. for a long time. I'd probably say from about the ages of, I think about 17, mm -hmm. and I think I pretty much wore this <clears throat> exclusively, not really wearing anything else, all through my 20s wow. and into my 30s. Wow. And it was, it, and it was in, in, I think, probably around 30-ish, early 30s that I started exploring different other scents. Things. I just wanted to try mm -hmm. other things. Something different. That is a long time. Yeah. That you really were wearing this scent. Back in the late 90s, yeah. when, when I first started wearing this, all the girls in my life, so um, like I, I grew up with three sisters. Yeah, So a lot of girls in the house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it was always great for fa like fashion tips and fragrances. Yeah. Anyway, so them and all the other girls in the world were, <laughs> um, were saying how much they love Lamal on mm -hmm. a guy. It was a new thing at that time. This takes the classical gentlemanly fougere style mm -hmm. fragrance, whips it into this modern day concoction. Mm. So we've still got <clears throat> like the lavender in lavender. there, got fresh yeah. notes of, of mint, but they added all this tonka bean and vanilla mm -hmm. and it really sweetens up the fragrance. Yeah, and it, it just, um, I mean, I, sm I smell this now instantly. This is how powerful scent is. It whisks me back to uh, spraying it on when I was 18 years old getting ready to go out with friends on the town, wondering what's <laughs> going to happen that night, what we're going to get up to, who yeah. we're going to meet. Um, all that kind of uh, expectation yeah. and um, excitement mm -hmm. is all tied up with this scent yeah, like for me. I can up. remember the clothes I used to wear. Really? I can remember who I was going out with. I can remember the places we used yeah. to go. I can remember the music. It's so powerful, yeah. guys. <clears throat> scent is so powerful. And it, it came out at a time where clubbing became okay. clubbing yeah and this is a good fun good time fragrance i think mm. the sweetness has a lot to do with that i wore it yesterday mm. and it lasted about seven hours on my skin yeah but that might be because my skin it really just eats up sweeter fragrances or maybe on a male skin it projects more um, I think I probably get something similar to you actually, uh, but I always spray on clothes as well. Yeah. So that that does increase the longevity. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it doesn't develop in the same way as it does on skin. But if you just want to have your scent last around you for longer, mm -hmm. then I always give a, a couple of sprays on clothes too. Yeah. Uh, so big late nineties clubbing scent. 
Mm -hmm. This was so enjoyable to wear because everyone knew it. This was a game changer, I think, because yeah. everyone knew And people loved to tell you what you were wearing. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I don't know what... It doesn't seem to happen. Maybe it does happen, but people love to um, tell you what scent you're wearing. Mm -hmm. So you'd, you'd be in a bar or a club and they'd be saying... Uh, oh, you were in Lamar. Yeah. Or Jean-Paul. Well, yeah, I mean, it was always known as, as Jean-Paul Gaultier, mm -hmm. even though it, there was other Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances, people yeah. refer to it a lot as Jean-Paul Gaultier. The They're like, are oh, you wearing yeah. Jean-Paul Gaultier? Mm -hmm. So it was very yeah. enjoyable. It was, it was um, an icebreaker yeah. because people would, uh, would would love to tell you what you were wearing and mm -hmm. then you get talking to people. And it, was a very, it was a very social scent as yeah. well. I think that's why I've got so many fond memories tied up with this because mm -hmm. it, it opened up this whole world. That, um, fragrances. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Compliments. You, did, you, didn't, you didn't have to think up cheesy one-liners anymore. You could just put Lamal <laughs> on and, and that would be it. it would do the job. It would uh, get mm. people talking. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's still a very known scent. I think if yeah. you were wearing Lamal, people will know what you're wearing. Um, and I do find the scent very, very addictive because of the lavender in it. Mm -hmm. And I do find that lavender, like a La Nuit de L'Homme, for example, one of my favorites, has got that lavender. Um, or Allure Homme Sporter Extreme, it's got that mint note, which this has yeah. got. And it gives this scent, this, <clears throat> this addictive nature. Um, which is perfect for nighttime fragrances, yep. in my opinion, especially for male uh, fragrances for men. And I think it does still sound quite modern, which does surprise me because it has been around mm -hmm. for quite a while. Well, and it has yeah. been popular for. I a think. Long time. It, where we're at with perfumery now, mm. there is still a proclivity for sweet fragrances. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why this is standing the test mm -hmm. of time. People love to smell sweet fragrances, but this isn't just your generic, boring, designer type sweet fragrance. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this yeah. is an interesting and, like you say, addictive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of those scents that just, you know, like you, you've already said, makes you happy. It does, yeah. This is one of those that, that makes people happy, I think, mm -hmm. when they smell. It's a very pleasant scent and the sweetness brings it all the way through to mm -hmm. modern times. And I think to answer the question, I yeah. think it is still relevant mm -hmm. today. I think it is a scent that um, people can confidently pull off. Mm -hmm. The only thing that might date it slightly is mm -hmm. when other people smell this, like like I have, they have those past associations. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it would remind them of when they used to wear it mm -hmm. or when they used to smell it on, on other people, Definitely. perhaps. Um, but I don't, th th even though it will trigger past memories of t t 10, 20 years ago, mm. I don't think that means it's outdated. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, it's a different thing. So whilst yeah. it might remind people of the past, uh, it's not in a, in a way that makes it still not a, a scent that works today. Yeah, in the scent profile, it's not outdated. Um, <clears throat> however, I would say that it's interesting because I feel like this scent started off this trend of uh, having bit a bit more of like sweetness in a male fragrance, like Versace yeah. Eros. Yeah. Uh, that one million. Scent, one million, yeah. all of these. So this you can tell that this is the start because it doesn't have that much sweetness in it. It's not, I wouldn't necessarily say this is like a gourmand scent, like not at all. This no. is a fresh scent, but yeah. it has got that sweetness at the base. Yeah, um, it's got flickers of gourmand in, in yeah, there. Yeah. Take, takes that um, classical masculine fougere, mm -hmm. ha, uh, adds some little glimmers of, of gourmand with the tonka bean and the vanilla to sweeten it up just enough, mm -hmm. but not so much that it's ever too sweet or cloying. Yeah. It's all just balanced really nicely. Well, because it has been worn by so many people, they might maybe associate it with bad memories or good mm -hmm. memories. Yeah. It could be both. Ex-boyfriends, things like yes, that. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. definitely, so that is always a risk. I'm sure there's a lot of ex-boyfriends out there who've been wearing <laughs> Lamar yes. in their life. Yeah. So that is always a thing um, to consider, or at least what I say, when you're going on a first date, for example. Yeah. Um, if you are going to wear something like Lamal, it is a bit risky because you might trigger yeah. something People like a memory. People might already have preconceptions yes. about and the fragrance. Even yeah. without them knowing <laughs> that they have that, you know, memory association, mm. um, they might just 
No, like you. That's, that's an issue with any very popular fragrance. Is, yeah. One million will will have the same yeah. the same thing. Anything that's really popular. What I would say about this is, I still think it leans uh, younger. Mm -hmm. um, slightly agree. juvenile element to the yes. DNA, mm -hmm. uh, which is I still wear this. I, mm -hmm. I think I I can still enjoy wearing this, yeah. but I do associate it as a slightly younger smell. I think maybe uh, some an older guy, maybe fifties, sixties. I think it's maybe getting a little too yeah. uh, young for, yeah. for for someone of that age to mm. carry off. I'm sure many people do, but that personally, I, I feel like yeah. when I'm that age, I don't I don't think I'll, I would feel as comfortable mm -hmm. wearing this. Definitely, it reminds me of more like a <clears throat> growing up teenagers. I would say like 16, 17 into the twenties. Yep. Um, but and that's exactly what it was for me. So I'd I'd had a couple of the Calvin Kleins, mm -hmm. which were fine, and I didn't really care as much about fragrances, but they were cheap. Mm -hmm. And then when I started caring more about how I smelled, that's when I went into La Malle, mm -hmm. and that carried me, like you say, all the way through yeah. my 20s. It's a great <clears throat> starting off smell. If, if you want to get a present for, you know, like a guy that is just starting his fragrance collection and you don't know what to get, this is like a fragrance I feel like that gets people into discovering more, discovering the fragrance world. Um, so I think that is just what fragrances are supposed to do. They, they are supposed to um, make you fall in love with, with them so that you can go on and actually discover more and more fragrances. In an overview, it is not outdated. It is still relevant, this fragrance, Le Mans Jean-Paul Gaultier, in 2020, 2020. <laughs> I agree. Um, let us know down in the comments, what do you think? Do you still wear Le Mans? Uh, when did you first start wear wearing Le Mans? We would love to hear your thoughts on this fragrance. Um, I post every Monday and Thursday. Please check out Chris's channel because you'll find some great content there. I promise you. you. And I'll see you all again very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Bye bye. Today we're talking about the new launch, the new Dolce Gambana, the one intense or intense. I don't know how you say intense in Italian. <laughs>